What's up everybody? Ricky Carruth here. Welcome back to my channel. So today I want to honor the great Ben Caballero. This guy is a single real estate agent and last year he broke two billion dollars in sales. It's actually a new Guinness Book of World Records and he was actually the previous record holder. Ben is located in Texas and he has been the top number one single agent for over a decade. So let me just read you a couple of the stats here. In 2016, he became the first real estate agent in America personally responsible for more than one billion in home sales. This was 2016. He sold 3,556 homes totaling 1.4 billion and that production landed him the title of the Guinness world record holder. Now unlike most top producing real estate agents who sell multi-million dollar mansions to celebrities in Beverly Hills, Malibu, Wall Street, Manhattan, Ben sells homes to everyday people in Texas. His business actually serves home builders okay, throughout Austin, Houston, San Antonio, and in his hometown market of Dallas, Fort Worth. In 2018, he sold 6,461 homes for a total of $2.4 billion in real estate. Okay, that's more than 100 homes per week. How does Ben do all this production as a single agent? Okay, let me break it down for you really quickly, and then I wanna get into his daily routine. Ben created a proprietary website technology for home builders, okay? It's homesusa.com if you wanna check it out. Uh, he owns the technology and it's built for home builders, and what it does is, is it gives you statistics. A home builder can go in there and look at all their statistics for all their different homes along the process of construction, so on and so forth. It's very elaborate, it's very awesome for home builders, and obviously they really love it. He represents 66 home builders in the area, and needless to say, he's done incredibly well for himself. So I found this article about his daily routine that I want to share with you and also link it below. First off, he lives in Frisco, Texas, which is a city of 184,000 people, about a 35 minute drive from Dallas. He wakes up at five o'clock every morning and starts his day with a breakfast of oatmeal and fresh berries. 5.30, he starts watching the news in his media room while checking his emails and the homesusa.com platform. Got a little dog named Sammy that's always close by. At seven o'clock, he leaves his house and heads to work. He has about a 25 minute drive to work and he listens to classic country on the way there. When he gets to the office, he says hello to the team and immediately makes a cup of coffee with a little touch of honey and one of his favorite mugs. Now the work starts. At 8.35, he heads to a client presentation with the company's MLS coordinators, Jessica and Laura, and the marketing and sales manager, Elisa. While they drive, Jessica reviews the client information and presentation with Ben. Most of the MLS team works remotely, so it's a treat for Ben to get some face-to-face -face time with them. They catch up on sports, weekend plans, and family. This is on the drive there. He's catching up with his team. At 9.30, he's delivering the presentation to the home builder sales team. He reviews built-in tools and reports that he says can increase profitability for sales counselor. And Laura and Jessica answer questions about the Homes USA platform. After that, they get back to the office about 11. He starts reviewing and improving photos from a recent professional photo shoot. Now it's time for lunch, and this is very interesting here. He eats the same thing every day. It's a vegetable plate from a local restaurant called Luby's. Um, he gets, uh, it's, it looks like it's beans, some okra, and sweet potatoes. After that, this particular day, he met with his office supervisor and photography manager to review plans for a new office that they're gonna build. Okay, after that, he meets with his MLS project manager and office supervisor uh, to review progress on the upcoming second version of the homesusa.com platform. So it looks like they're gonna upgrade their platform. After that, it's about 3.30. Uh, he meets with some other team members to review the company's website in addition to the version 2 of the platform. The public website is getting redesigned. Uh, he leads the discussion with the Homes USA guiding principle. Homes sell faster when their beauty and quality are reflected in MLS. That's his little tagline to his team. Homes sell faster when their beauty and quality are reflected in MLS. I think that's something that you guys should really think about coming from a guy who sold 2.2 billion uh, in real estate as his tagline, and I believe this wholeheartedly, 
that, you know, and this is a big problem too, when, when I find sellers that had a property that expired or something that didn't sell and they come to me and I look at the online presence and I think that's the problem right there. It wasn't being pre presented correctly. The online presence is horrible. This property is incredible and the pictures are bad, the remarks are bad. It did not match up to the remarkableness of this property. So a lot of times I can take those properties and do it the way I do it with the professional photos, the, the really incredible remarks, and turn around and sell that property. So he's saying the same thing here. Now, three times a week, Ben works out with a personal trainer. So about 4.30, he starts getting ready at the office and he heads to that trainer where he works out, like I say, three times a week and uh, he hits that strength and cardio. He normally gets home about 6.15, Sammy's dog sitting there waiting on him, and uh, his fiance Linda, so I've, I, evidently he's not married yet, his fiance Linda makes him a, a, a meal. He says she's an excellent gourmet cook, cooks chicken, salmon, shrimp, steak. Looks like steak is his favorite. Um, he always eats with, uh, with garden salad and vegetables and a baked potato, broccoli, spinach, vegetables, very healthy guy. And about 7.45, he's settling back in his media room. He's either watching a football game or the news again before he goes to bed. And he goes to bed about 10 o'clock. So as I'm looking at his daily schedule, I'm thinking this is really similar to what I do. I get up at 4.30, I go to bed at 10, I work out, and all day long, I'm working, 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 meeting with people, pushing the envelope, seeing what I could do, working on my websites, working on my web presence, building my personal brand, meeting with clients, meeting with sellers, meeting with buyers, talking to people, meeting with my team, the whole nine yards. So I think the moral of the story is, is to just keep pushing, okay? Try to adapt, try to innovate, Try to get better, watch the people that are above you, try to figure out what they're doing and try to do it better. I mean, he really did it, didn't he? 2.2 billion and it's, and it's really like, for the most part, it's because he's a worker and he's an adapter and you know, he believes, he works hard, he adapts and he's patient. Um, but at the end of the day, you know, he, he created that platform. It's basically an MLS for home builders that does more than what the MLS does. You know, MLS is for agents. It's basically an MLS, uh, what I'm guessing, I've never been inside of it, but what it sounds like is, a, is it's an MLS for builders where they could be the agent on the inside and see all the statistics. And it also takes it a step further and kind of, um, you know, oversees the progress of the construction as it goes along. So kudos to you, Ben. Super happy for you. Really excited. And I'll tell you a quick story. Back in 2015, you guys probably saw the, the uh, Tim and Julie Harris coaching review. If not, I'll link it below. But as I was going through that year before I actually hired Tim to be my coach, I was researching and looking everywhere for, you know, the answer, how can I make a million dollars a year? And through my research, I actually came across Ben back in 2015. Um, and I read so many stories about him and watched some videos and I knew all about him before this. But uh, it's just really cool to see him continue to progress and his volume to continue to go up. And I just can't wait to see where he is, you know, in the next five years. So like I said, Ben, we're really proud of you. Keep it up. And I'd love to have you on my podcast. If you watch this, um, I'll try to reach out to you and bring you on the show. It would be an absolute honor. If you like this video, please hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you haven't already. And if you want to join my absolutely free real estate coaching program, link in the description or go to zero to diamond.com. Complete that 90 day action plan so that I can get on a call with you because, hey, you know, Ben's selling two billion. You know, he's selling, you know, 5,000 units a year. You know, I'm sitting over here selling 100 units a year, making, you know, a million dollars with about 40 million in volume. You know, and I'm thinking, whoa, I got a long way to go, but I'm still here and I still want to help you guys get at least where I am. So let me know if there's anything in the world I can do for you. Leave me a comment and we'll talk to you guys on the next video. Let's go. Thank you.